What's up and welcome back Wargamers, this is Battleshock Wargaming Studio. We are getting ready to play another exciting game of Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Dave, tell us what we're doing today. Today we are wrapping up the War Coda series. Huge shout out to Tyler over at Warhammer Weekly. We really appreciate you hooking us up with this. We've had an absolute blast and I hope all of you watching these videos have had a blast as well. We're going to be pitting Usheron and the Flesh Eater Courts versus Soulblight Gravelords and one of the new regiments of renown, which is Archon and these two units of Morgast Harbingers. It should be really, really fun. If you're new to the channel, please take time to like, share, and subscribe. Also, huge shout out to the Baron of Dice. He has sponsored this entire series and we appreciate all of his support. If you don't know about the Baron, you should by now. He makes all of the beautiful custom resin dice that we roll on this channel. Check out that link in the description box down below. Save yourself a couple dollars and get you some custom dice that match your army. Absolutely. So we are going to get right in to taking a look at the armies. Let's do it. Thank you to all of our members for supporting this channel, especially the Lords and Commanders. If you're interested in extra battle reports and helping to support this channel, hit the link in the description box below. Go check out our channel partners, Baron of Dice and Grey Matter Games. They have some amazing products. There will be promo codes and links in the description box below. Flesh Eater Courts are back on the battlefield and we are proud to finally show off Usheron. We're going to be taking his sub-faction that he's a war master in called Hollow Morn. I get extra damage with knight units that have charged and Crypt Horrors are battle line. Usheron himself is a fantastic model. He's got a 2d3 heal. He can debuff things braveries and give them strike last if I get lucky. He's got a cool spell. He has an aura of delusion, which allows me to pick an extra delusion every turn. And then he also gives out an aura of feeding frenzy of 24 inches instead of 12. I've got four heroes in my list. We've got an Acolytes Battalion in here for some extra primal dice. My general is going to be the Marrow Scroll Herald. He's a cruel ta uh, taskmaster, so I am going to have a better and stronger muster. And he also is going to be a priest. He is going to know Bless This Meal, which helps me to heal. I have an Abhorrent Ghoul King on foot. This guy can charge 3d6 with his spell. If he completes a charge, he gets strike first. And he's just a fun little smash model. Then we have an Abhorrent Arch region. He's a two caster. He's going to be knowing Hoarfrost, and then he has another really good War Scroll spell. He also is going to let me put Knights back into a unit, which is helpful. We've got a Gore Warden, finally, and the Gore Warden can teleport. He can bring things into reserve. He's going to know Merciless Blizzard. He's just a great little piece, so he's going to be flying around the battlefield. Up next, we have a reinforced unit of Morbeg Knights. These bad boys do charge damage, they can retreat and charge, they shut down Unleash Hell, and if they complete a charge, they count as three on objectives. Then we have a double reinforced unit of Crypt Horrors. They're gonna be hanging out, protecting my heroes, doing a bunch of damage and potentially coming back after they die. Just really good high damage unit. To round out the list, we have two units of 20 ghouls. Ghouls auto wound on sixes. They have a bunch of attacks and they're gonna be my objective grabbers in this battle. So there you have it, Hollow Morn with Usheron. Let's go ahead and see what Michael brought. Taking a look at the Grave Lords today, we're taking Legion of Blood as a sub faction. This gives all of the vampire heroes plus one to cast when they're outside of combat, plus one attack when they're in combat. And we're also taking uh, Archon's Regiment of Renown, which gives him a two up spell ignore for that regiment. Our general today is the Vampire Lord on Zombie Dragon. His command trait is Doom Minions, which is giving him some pluses to hit. And then his artifact of power is the Cloak of Mists and Shadows, which gives him a three up unrendable save. We have a couple little foot heroes today. We have the Vampire Lord and the Necromancer. They're gonna be hang hanging out in an Acolytes Battalion so that we get some extra primal dice. The Vampire Lord is gonna know Horror Frost as her, her spell. And then the Necromancer is gonna know Merciless Blizzard for that backup panic button. The Gnashing Jaws are in the list. This thing can move very fast and has the potential to do a lot of mortal wounds. I just really like this as an endless spell. Archon the Black is here. He's in the list. He's a three cast wizard and he's a plus two to cast he's also a decent little fighter he also gives out an aura of plus six inches to the range for other death wizards which will come into effect this game we have two units of Morgasts. Uh, both are going to have the spirit halberd these guys hit really hard they're good rend good damage on those attacks and they move pretty quick we have 40 skeletons. We have a reinforced unit of death rattle skeletons and then two 10 man unit of death rattle skeletons. Uh, these guys have some nice regeneration. They're really hard to shift. That is the entirety of my list. 
Let's take a look at the mission. All right, today's battle plan and finale for the War Code of Battles is going to be Total Conquest. Seems appropriate. This is a four objective battle, and the special rule for this one is you will get an extra victory point if you seize any objectives in your turn. Other than that, it's going to be hold one, two, more, battle tactics, and grand strategies. My grand strategy is to protect my Charnel throne and have it garrisoned by a hero at the end of the battle. It's gonna be pretty tough, but we'll see if I can do it. And Michael, what is your grand? Empire of Corpses. So I have to uh, have replaced three or more friendly summonable units that were destroyed during the battle. All right, good luck to the both of us. Let's go ahead and see who has initiative. All right, we are back for the top of battle round one. Now, Michael had less drops than me, so he has decided to give me the first turn. Uh, I am going to, for my delusion, I'm going to pick Feast Day. So I'm going to get Feeding Frenzy on uh, four Noble Deed points instead of six. For this turn, I am also going to do Defenders of the Realm, and I am going to give my army a plus one to save if they're contesting an objective that they control. That's something that Usheron can do. For my heroic action, I did Rousing Oration and I got two extra Noble Deed points on my general. And then I generated two Noble Deed points with the Abhorrent Archregent who is in the Charnel Throne. Michael, you had a pre-battle ability called Doomed Minions. Yes, and I rolled three on the Doomed Minions, so I doomed uh, the Ghouls, the Ghouls, and the big unit of Knights. Um, so my general and anything else that's within three inches, as long as the general's within three inches, hits on a two, which yeah. is pretty cool. But mostly yeah. it's the general who hits on the two. There is a fac so that it doesn't affect his mounts. It's only going to be that big doom lance, but still good. Yeah, still really, really good. Doom minions is great. And uh, so I have two primal dice to your one. Mm -hmm. We both have acolytes battalions. Uh, he failed his acolytes roll, and then we both got one with the regular ones. And then I have two command points to your three. For your heroic action, you got another command point, and you put it on Ark in the Black. Yes, sir. So my battle tactic this turn is going to be to get a spell off without getting unbound, because I have three casts that are out of range, and I'm just going to cast those means that I'm not going to be able to get as many Noble Deed points as I want, but I want to be able to score. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to start by casting a Mystic Shield with my Ghoul King over there. He's going to put that on the 20-man unit of Ghouls that's standing in front of him. Uh, that goes off, so they'll take their Mystic. Okay, Mystic Shield is cast. Let's go ahead and cast with Usheron. He's going to try to do Deranged Transformation. Uh, that is a six. All right, so Deranged Transformation is going to add two to the movement and plus one to wound rolls for my ghoul unit that's sitting over there. The one that is screening in front of Charnel Throne is who I'm going to give it to. I am going to try to pray to give a six-up ward to a unit with uh, the Marrow Scroll Herald. This doesn't really matter because my whole army has a six-up ward. I just want to try to get him another Noble Deed point. Gotcha. Uh, no. Let's cast a Arcane Bolt with Usheron for the same reason. We're gonna to try to get an extra Noble Deed. That goes off. I have no other Hero Phase stuff to do, so we're gonna go ahead and move. All right, everybody, we are back from my turn. I did score five points. I hold these two objectives right here with my Objective Monkeys, and that's more. And then I also completed my Battle Tactic, which was just to cast a spell. Pretty easy. So what's your Battle Tactic gonna be? Uh, all we're gonna do is intimidate the invaders. I'm not set up for Surround right now, and he's got Unbinds on stuff. Okay, uh, I am going to do a rousing oration with my general, and there is the arch regent, the crypt horrors, and Usheron in range. So he's going to get two more. That means Fred, uh, feeding frenzy is active, and then he's the one that does the super muster. So he'll go up to four. So starting with Arcan, uh, let's go with Curse of Years. Cast on a what? The thirteen. Uh huh. Super cast. Super cast. Okay. Can't be unbound. We both get an extra primal dice. Cool. Let's just beat up on these ghouls. Okay. That you don't care about, I don't care about, but they're, they're what's in range. Let's just kill so, them. Mortals on sixes? Or is it fives? It's sixes. Okay. We got one mortal. Okay. Then on a five up, no. I'll take another one. Come on. Okay, take your one mortal. I saved it. <laughs> great. Glad we super cast that one. <laughs> Uh, that was let's, great. Let's bring out the Jaws. 11. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, we'll stop there. 12? Yeah. OK. 
Okay. Uh, Usheron. Nine. Ten. I'm done. Okay. Uh, final one, we're going to go with the uh, zombie dragon over there. We're just going to throw out a mystic shield. Uh, 12. 12? With the ghoul king, 8. Just throw the rest of them in there. 11, 12. I had to throw the rest of them in there. Okay, 16. A horror frost. Okay. It does not go off. Okie doke. That's it. Casting is complete. We'll do a little bit of movement, show you what we did. All right, guys, that was my turn. We're not going to recap movement because all we did is shimmy the whole army forward. We ran a couple of units. I spent one command point to auto run the purple skeletons in the center. Yep. Um, so we have successfully intimidated the invaders. We're holding one, two, three objectives. Mm -hmm. And then we uh, stole an objective back from David. So we have a big six points for battle round one. There was no sense in going into anything turn one because everything that could reach was just going to trade really poorly. More gas for uh, ghouls is a terrible trade. I am screening my backfield with two heroes because he still has some stuff that can come in reserves that I'm a little nervous about. That's it. We're going to roll for turn. And each one of us cannot wait to hand it off to the other person. That's right. No. Oh. All right. Yep. Okay. I still am going to think about it for a second. How are you? Because I like to keep you guys on the edge of your seat. So we'll be back for battle round two. Probably Michael. All right, we are back for battle round two. I have decided to give Michael the turn. I'm looking at the board state and I'm not too worried at all. Michael does have a good battle tactic out of the book. We'll get to that in a second. I have three command points. I gave an extra cast to, uh, to my little boy on foot over there so he can have an extra unbind and all that good stuff. For my battle tactic this turn, there's a great one from the book. Expand the Grave Empires. Complete this tactic if I control two or more objectives wholly outside of my territory. And each of those are contested by summonable or vampire units. Now, Done. He actually controls three right now. So even if one of these skelly units dies and I steal it somehow, he'll still complete it. So very, very safe battle tactic. That is it. We're going to get right into casting. Come on, Arcan. Help me out this time on the ghouls. Curse of years. Okay. Here we go. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not going to throw a primal at it. So just an eight. Okay, uh, I will attempt to unbind <clears throat> that one with, let's do that one with Ushuron. Four. Four. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you have Curse of Years. Yeah, it's not, it can be amazing or it can be nothing. Yeah, yeah. one thing that I forgot last time is as you do the damage, I have to see if I shrug it right away. You're not allowed to roll another dice if it gets shrugged. Ten dice, mortals on sixes. <laughs> oh, yeah, take a mortal. Okay. Do I shrug it? Nope. Mortal on five. Okay. Take a mortal, David. How about some jaws? Okay. Let's bring out the jaws. 12. 13. <laughs> 13 it is. <laughs> okay. I'll try to unbind this one with Usheron as well. Six. I really hate the jaws, dude. Yeah. Uh, 12. Fine. It has this really cool ability that I get to bring it out an extra six inches, which makes them really good for sniping those backfield heroes, which is why David says no. Nay, nay. Nay, nay. Let's go ahead and throw a mystic shield. I don't think you're going to buy that. It's uh, eight. It's an 11. You need a 12 on something. I will attempt to do that. Okay. With the ghoul king. 11. You need a 12. So close. Let's go for a horror frost. Okay. Nope, does not go off. Okay. I think that's it. Beautiful. We will go ahead and get into movement. Wrapping up our movement phase, the vampire lord on foot actually moved back. I don't really care about her casting right now. I'm just keeping set up for a surround later. Uh, these skeletons have moved into this onto this point which they were already standing on, but they're trying to zone it out from some deep striking Morbag knights and setting up for that surround later. The big block of 20 and the zombie dragon have moved onto the center point and we're gonna smash as hard as we can into some ghouls. We're gonna try and send these death rattle into some ghouls as well. And then all the 
regiment of renown has shifted over to the side. We grabbed that far objective. And then maybe I in a charge on these ghouls as well. We have one shooting attack to make. Let's do it now. The vampire lord with his pestilential breath. It's the vampire lord's breath, not, not the dragon's. That's right. Okay, d6 attacks for two. He hit on threes. And they wound on threes. One. It's Ren one. Failed it. It's three damage. Okay, three dead ghouls. Mm hmm I did redeploy these ghouls last turn as well, or while he was moving. That's why there's so many on that point. Mm-hmm. Well, since we're looking at them, let's charge with the Death Rattle Skeletons, the big block of 20 going in. A big 10. Nice. In they go. In like Flynn. Zombie Dragon looking for a 7. How about an 11? Get some. <laughs> More Death Rattle into ghouls. A 3. Oh. All right, more gas harbingers going in. Oh, and they rolled a nine, which means they strike first. Monstrous actions. So we're going to issue an all-out attack to the more gas. Okay, so this is six attacks. These are going to be twos and threes. Ren two, three damage. Okay. Let's go. Excellent. Uh, only two. Okay, I'll roll my six wards. Uh, four guys die. Zombo dragon. Okay, we got four attacks with that death lance. He's gonna hitting, be hitting on twos because of doomed minions. Yes. Take that one out. So two. Okay, that's six damage. So I'm just gonna go ahead and roll my wards. Mm-hmm. Five guys die. Three attacks with the snapping maw. Four attacks with the snappy maw. Yep. Don't forget to give yourself extra attacks. Yep. Those hits. Two wounds. Red. Red three on the snapping maw. Damage. Damage three on the snapping maw. So six total. Okay. Okay. Six more dead guys. Last but certainly not least, we got the sword like claws. Oh, good job, dude. Good job. Hitting on fours ain't a problem when you do that. Okay. Uh, take four. Okay. Rend one. Rend one? So that's all, all, nice. One. Uh, sixes. Okay. Two damage each. Sixes. Okay, six damage. He did it. <laughs> he, he, he ate the whole squad? Yeah, he ate the squad. Wow. Okay, the ghouls are going to go ahead and fight into the Morgasts. This is going to be 23 attacks. No Feeding Frenzy is active here because I'm out of range. Uh, this is going to be fours and fours, and sixes are going to automatically wound. Gotcha. That's a lot of sixes. Look at all those chompas. Make 11 saves at minus one because I am wholly within 18 of an opponent. Equal amount of blood drops there. So take three, I'll take six, okay. and then I'll take my wards. Okay, so take five. Cool. I almost got a guy. One guy's alive on a wound. That's it. Let's score it up. Do it. All right, we are back from Michael's turn. Michael, how many points? Uh, that was five points. We hold one, two more. We completed our battle tactic. We don't get any bonus points because I didn't take anything back from David. Um, these guys whiffed a little bit more than I'd like it to, but then the zombie dragon did more than I thought he was going to. So yep. all good things. Uh, we're getting into David's turn for my uh, dra zombie dragon. I did immortal majesty. So David has to spend two command points instead of one to issue all out defense and inspiring presence to enemy units within 12 of that hero. So it's kind of cool. Uh, I did rousing oration and Usharan got one more noble deed point, bringing him up to four. That means that everything's got Feeding Frenzy, Holy Within 12 of him, and my General. And then I got three more Noble Deed points for the Archregent who's sitting in the throne. So we've got some ability to bring some stuff back if we want to, and Feeding Frenzy active, which is great. My battle tactic is going to be led into the Maelstrom. I just need to have a, a hero or a battle line in combat and make a charge with both of them this yep. turn. It seems pretty easy. First thing I'm going to do is Pray for bless this meal, and I need to check a range real quick. All right, bless this meal on a three up. 
It goes off. Right. We're going to pick this unit here. If a unit is within six inches of this unit, every time a model dies, I get to heal one. Cool. He's going to get a noble deed point, so he's up to five. And then let's do some casting. The first thing we're going to cast is a fun little spell. Please, is it the hitting yourself spell? It's the hitting yourself spell. Yes. Stop hitting yourself. I mean, I'm going to try to. We're going to name it Stop Hitting Yourself. <laughs> uh, it's called Glimpse of Delusion. So this is a cast value of seven and a range of 18. Yep. I can pick an enemy unit. I pick one of their melee weapons and they have to make combat attacks with that melee weapon into another unit that I pick within range. All right, so it's not hitting yourself, but it is hitting your friend. You can't hit yourself, uh, but I'm going to try to see if I can make the, the uh, zombie dragon go crazy for a minute oh, and try yes. to eat some skeletons. So uh, cast on a seven. It goes off on an eight. I'm going to leave it on an eight. All right, let's unbind with Archon. Archon. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll throw a primal. Unbound. Now he's going to try to do the one where he adds two inches to the movement of a unit. That goes off on a 10, and I'm going to leave it. Necromancer is going to try to unbind that cast. OK. What was, what'd you cast on? A 10. 10? All right, let's just try. OK, you got it. OK, so we're going to give deranged transformation to the Ghoul King, mm -hmm. the uh, Horrors, and then Usheron. Usheron himself. Yep. So they're all plus two to movement, but more importantly, they all have plus one to wound until my next hero phase, which is really good. OK, over here, up in the Charnel throne, we are going to attempt to cast his War Scroll spell. Carry and Call. Casting value of six. If I successfully cast it in the following movement phase, friendly Flesh Eater Quartz units that are set up at the end of the movement phase can immediately move D6. Cool. That's a nine. Uh, 15. Well, 19. 19. All right, let's try it with Arcan. Six, seven, eight, nine. So I can't unbound it. You got it. Okay, sounds good. And then he'll go up to six Noble Deed points. So he's capped. Okay, and then for his last spell, he's going to do an Arcane Bolt. Five. You got it. Okay, he gets an Arcane Bolt. Sweet. This guy over here is going to attempt to cast a Mystic Shield on a five. Uh, let's say no with, with the Zombie Dragon. Okay. Nene, you may not have it. And then 3d6 charge on a six. Goes off. Cool. Uh, let's go with Arcan. You may not have it. Nay, nay. OK, that is all of my casting. And I did bless this meal on these guys. So that is it. We can go ahead and get into movement. All right, we are done with my movement phase. I dropped out of reserve with these bad boys. And then because of the spell that I got off of the Abhorrent Arch Regent, I was able to move them D6. The Abhorrent moved four inches. And then the knights move two inches. I'm seven inches away from those skeletons there, and they're plus two to charge. So that's going to be a pretty doable charge. And then we're going to try to eat that necromancer because he has blizzard. Uh, over here, the ghouls are staying in combat, and the horrors are going to wrap around and get onto that objective. So we're trying to keep things kind of tight knit. Uh, this guy is just going to go sacrifice himself pretty much just so I can get a battle tactic. Uh, and then. Back here, we've got Usheron, and if you look really, really close in front of him, my general standing there. And then I hopped out a reserve with my Abhorrent Arch Regent right here. And that is it. So we can go ahead and look at some charges. Going in on a plus one, that's a nine inch charge. He'll go in. Cryptors on the right side of your screen are going to charge. They're also on a plus one because of the delusion that I took. That's an 11. So Whoa. They're gonna go in. <laughs> they can go wherever they want. Abhorrent Arch Regent. Four is. It's got to be good, right? Yeah, because he's plus one. So it's a five. Yeah, he's good. OK, let's do the Knights. You get a 12. All right, doing some impact hits on some skeletons. This is D3 mortal wounds on a four up, and there's five of them in. So they're going to take three D3 mortals. And that's going to be six mortal wounds. Is this in the charge phase? Yep. So we take six. Cool. Uh, four ups. We bring guys back up. So we bring back four. 
Okay, and now that we are at the uh, start of the combat phase, I'm gonna loose that arcane bolt that the arch region's holding onto on that more gas that has five wounds. On two up, we ignore it. It's ignored. Oh, it was worth a try, you guys. <laughs> I was actually just casting that spell to get him to full health. Uh, I did forget to mention that I brought in 10 ghouls with six noble deed points, so Way there they are. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and activate some stuff. Okay, so we can't all out attack here because more gas disallow it, but I am plus one to wound because of the spell that I got off, and these are plus one to damage. If I roll a six uh, to wound, it's going to be an extra damage as well. So let's go ahead and see what we get here. Mm -hmm. Eight minus one, three damage, and two minus one, four damage. Okay, so let's do the eight minus one. These are five ups. Okay, I saved two of those. Okay, that's 18 damage, and then we'll do the other two. Save one of those. 22 damage. 22 damage. No problem. <laughs> no problem. Six is super dead. <laughs> Yeah. How many sixes did I get in that? Two. Only two? You just took 20 damage. And 22 dice? Yep, yep. Michael's turn to activate. He's got a lot of good choices here. <laughs> Michael's getting ready to fire up some skeletons. I am going to do an all-out defense right here. Bring uh, me to a three before Ren. You may not, sir. My heroic action says that you may not. I'm going to use two command there points, you go. and I'm going to do an all-out defense. All right, eight attacks. Two hits. Or uh, <laughs> six hits. <laughs> and three wounds, rend one. <laughs> Look at those <laughs> chompers, man. They're great. Yeah, he, he <laughs> loves it. Loves it. All right, let's go fight with the Gore Warden. Okay, the Abhorrent Gore Warden is going to fire up. He's got five attacks. This is threes, threes, minus one, two. Let's all out attack with our last command point. Completely unnecessary. Four saves at minus one. Um, I guarantee this is t-shirt save. Hold on, he's got a ward. Eight damage. Does he have a ward? Oh, yeah, everything has a ward, too. He's dead. Okay. He's got five wounds, so we'll give this guy five noble deeds. He gets a noble deed for every wound he causes? That's yep. cool. Yep. The heroes get buff. All right, Michael's turn. Death rattle, getting to shake, rattle, and roll. Nice. How many of there are you? Six. You outnumber me. Take three. Minus one. A fives. Yeah. I fail two. Sixes. I take a damage. Sweet. Okay, we'll fight back with three guys. Okay. Let's start with seven attacks. Ren one. This is threes, threes, minus one, one. Or I'm sorry, threes, threes, minus one, two because of charging. Mm -hmm with hollow mord. Okay, so you got one at minus one. Fives, or sixes. <laughs> nice. And let's do the vicious claws and teeth. They're also two inch range, so this is gonna be nine attacks. Threes and threes. Make yourself six saves at minus one rend. Sixes. Good. Two damage apiece. Sixes, rerolling ones. No ones, no sixes. They're all dead. Okay. Yes. Blessed. Bless this meal. Bless this meal. Thank you for yeah. reminding me, opponent. I got They're, my wound back. They are tasty vittles. Yeah, that was a delicious little treat for my army. Mm. All right, let's go look at the Ghoul King. Tasty. You know what I like about the heroes, Michael? They all have the same attack profile. It does make it easy. Uh, threes, threes, minus one, two. Two saves, minus one. Tell the most. Four damage. I'll reroll that one. And do another one. Very good. Excellent. All right. He gets four noble deeds, so he's up to five. Combat complete. Cool. Let's go score me up. Let's do it. Okay, we are back for my turn. I did score five points. I do not hold more, but I hold one and two, and I seize an objective from my opponent. Mm -hmm. Uh, that brings me up to 10, so the score is 10 to 11, and we're getting into the roll-off for battle round three. Uh, both still have a lot of power uh, in our ranks here, so let's see what happens. Good luck to you, Michael. Good luck to you, sir. Hiya. Okay. 
Uh, I am going to take the turn, and I'm going to try to just keep holding objectives and killing some things. So we'll be back for Battle Round 3, Flesh Eater Courts. All right, we are back for Battle Round 3. Flesh Eater Courts are going to take the turn. I don't think I can deal with the Vampire Lord on Zombie Dragon this turn, but I do think I can kill a couple more ghasts and do some other fun stuff. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, my battle tactic is going to be intimidate the invaders. Easy. I'm, I'm pretty much already doing it. Yep. For the delusion this turn, let's go ahead and give everybody a plus one to their save if I'm contesting an objective. The general is going to try to bless this meal on this unit right here. Mm -hmm. And it goes off. You may have it. Okay. And then will you roll him up to six noble deeds, please? It's not really going to help me heal much because it's a two model unit, but it is noble deeds. I got you. Let's do plus two to move and plus one to wound for one to three units. Uh, that goes off on a six. I'm not going to throw any primal at it. Let's try unbind with Arcan. Okay. Unbound with a seven. <laughs> Good job, buddy. <laughs> See how easy that is? <laughs> And then uh, he is going to try to, let's have him try to cast a Mystic Shield on himself. 10. I'm going to leave it on a 10. I guess let's just try this with the uh, Vampire Lord on Zombie Dragon. Okay. You can have it. Cool. And then uh, he'll go up to 6 Noble Deep. Uh, let's do a Horror Frost on the big boy with my Arch Regent. That's an 8. 11, I'll leave it 11. All right, let's try to unbind with Arcan. Roll high, roll to five. You rolled an 11? Mm-hmm. Nine. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> a valiant attempt, Michael. Uh, let's, let's put it on his mount attacks because he has 11 of them with Feeding Frenzy, uh, so. They'll be, yeah, let's wound on, let's wound on twos. Okay. We'll wound on twos. Let's do an arcane bolt with the ghoul king. Five. Oh, and then we yeah, arcane, just, then we deny yeah. with arcane. And it rolls it's a seven. extremely unbound. Okay, cool. This guy has a teleport spell. I don't have any spells after this. I forgot, <laughs> dude. You still have unbinds, right? No, well, I guess I have her. I forgot how she exists. Okay, we're both hard casting, so it doesn't matter to you. It goes off on an 11. Gaming me, David. <laughs> okay. He can teleport. What's he going to do with that teleport? I have teleported my hero over here. Just put a little bit of pressure on that objective that I'm never going to get to with anything else. And that is definitely going to be the end of my hero phase, so let's go ahead and move. All right, we are done with my movement phase. My Gore Warden is putting pressure on this objective over here. He might try to do a 9-inch charge. We'll see. We're moving over here to try to tie down the uh, zombie dragon. We'll see how that works. Ghoul King staying in combat. Why not? Usheron moved forward so he can charge into some stuff. I moved on to the point with 10 bodies here so I don't lose it. And then I have the six Morbeg Knights hiding behind that garrisonable there. They're going to charge into Archon. Archon threw a one-inch redeploy. Boom. And then uh, the ghouls ran, and then I just put my general in the middle of the ghouls to try to keep him safe. And then I hopped back into the Charnel Throne, so I have another battery for uh, Noble D points. And then Michael rolled a four up and brought back five skeletons nine inches away from both of my units right there in that little tiny spot. And that is it. So let's go ahead and do some charges. Is the Gore Warden hungry enough to roll a nat nine? Because I'm not really rolling this. A oh, ten. we rolled a ten. There he goes. More than enough. Uh, more bag knights charging in. Uh, nine's good. We'll move them in. All right, let's do charge damage on fours. Uh, it's going to be 3d3 mortal wounds. Uh, five mortal wounds into Arkham. Oh. Take them all. All right, Ushron charging in. That's a three. So he'll charge. Rerolling. He's going to do the reroll. Bring me down to two command points. I got an extra one because of my Warlord Battalion. Okay, 10 is fine. Cryptoras, seven. Seven's good. Uh, I'm just gonna roar Ark in the Black. It's good. Okay. 
Let's roar the Morbeg Knights. The Knights are roared. All right, let's do Usharan with all of his attacks into the Morgast. I would like to all out defense these knuckleheads though. At the start of the combat phase, subtract one from the bravery characteristic of each enemy unit within three inches of this unit until the end of the battle. Great. Then roll 2d6 for each enemy unit within an inch if the result is higher than the bravery characteristic of that unit. So I need to roll a 10 plus. 10 plus. On, on the Morgast. Okay. Uh, that's an eight. Okay. And then against Archon the Black, that's 12. So he's strike last. So many chompers today. I'm still going to put all my attacks into the Morgast because I'll get to fight with the Morbeg Knights first no matter what. Okay. So let's, uh, let's do that. So he has Feeding Frenzy active. So this is going to be four attacks, threes and twos. Hits. Uh, three wounds at negative two. Fill them all. Okay, that's going to be nine, 12, 14, 15 damage. Good lord. D3 plus three. Five. You got to do two more wounds to kill him. Okay, I don't know, man. 11 attacks, threes, and twos. Five, at minus one. Fours. I failed four of them. Will be eight more damage. Oh, there's no way we survived. Fives. <laughs> <laughs> They're dead. They're dead. Surprising no one. <laughs> hey, died. you found the dice that we lost last week. I did. Thank it, you. It was standing right there. Okay. Skeletons get to fight into my doomed minions. They might actually kill something. <laughs> so let's start with the guy in the back who has to go into the hero. He hits. He fails to wound. Okay. Uh, everyone else into your doomed minions, hitting on twos. Okay. I'm going to all out defense them. I'm on the other side of the table here, so no game. So many twos, David. And then uh, threes. Eight at minus one. Sixes. And sixes. Okay, five damage, kills a guy, and puts a wound on another. Got a whole dude. It's actually pretty good for skellies. All right, feeding frenzy on this guy. So this is going to be six attacks, threes and threes. Two saves, minus one. <gasps> Save one, failed one. Two damage. Failed one. Remove two models. Here we go. Skellies into your gore warden. Take one. You he fine. No, he failed it. No. He's I don't it. have Ren. Oh, yeah. I you outnumber me. I definitely outnumber uh, you. Okay, takes damage. <laughs> Ducklehead. The good thing is, is you are plus two to your save right now. This is good. And I'm only minus one Ren, so you have two up saves. This is good. Uh, let's go Grizzly Lance. This is... 15, 13 attacks, mm -hmm. threes and threes. Sorry guys, I just realized I have feeding frenzy, so we're gonna give them an extra six attacks. Threes. Oh God, breaking stuff. Seven two up saves. Twos. Failed one. Okay, two damage. I'm going to roll these ones with vigor. Okay. All right. Huh. Didn't seem to help. <laughs> okay. And now we're going to do 24 attacks with the riders. Good Lord. So many attacks. <laughs> they have three attacks and then yeah. feeding frenzy. Yeah. Yeah. Two up saves going to keep you alive though, I think. Uh. It's sketchy, but. <laughs> I'm nervous, David. <laughs> Are you nervous now that you know you only have to make nine two-up saves? Yes. It's, they are two damage apiece. It's just enough to be scary. Twos. I failed two. Okay, that's four damage. All right, take three more damage. So you suffered 10 damage. Cool. That's quite a bit. All right, Michael, this is 41 attacks. This is going to be fours and threes.
freeze to wound. Ten three damage saves at minus one, and then three four damage saves at minus one. Okay, sixes for the threes. So that's uh, nine times three, 27 damage. Okay. Sixes. 27 plus 20, or 27 plus four, uh, 12. 27 plus 12. 30. That's 39 damage. Good Lord. Is this a pick em up situation? I feel like I have a <laughs> lot of ward saves to make. There's yeah. a lot of bodies. Yeah. Just roll them all. All right, here's 25. Rerolling one. So we've saved two out of 25. We've saved three out of 25. Can we stop? Yep, they're dead. Okay, we're dead. Yep, they're dead. <laughs> Can we stop now? <laughs> All right, they did, are dead. I did roll three sixes on 28 dice. <laughs> All right. Uh, Arcan. Arcan's gonna fight in just a second. Archon the Black, still alive. I opted to kill the Morghasts. Since he was on finest hour, I wanted to make the most of my damage output. So let's uh, fight now. Who's he going to fight into? Uh, everything into the Morbeg Knights. OK, sounds good. They can't do any commands because they were roared. OK, so we're going to start with uh, Zephyr Carr and Kenna Shaw. Uh, one attack piece. Here we go. Let's hit on fours. One hit. No wound. And then let's go with the Ebon Claws. Uh, we have four of those. Okay. And don't forget that you are plus one to wound because of best day ever. Those hit. Those wound. Uh, so take four. Uh, fives. Uh, fail three. Uh, two damage each. Okay. Sixes. Okay. Five damage. And then we have the spectral claws and daggers. Take no one. Uh, so we heal five from the hunger? Yep, you'll heal five from the hunger. Well, he has a, it has a different name for him, but it's the same thing. And that is going to round out the turn. So let's go ahead and go score me up. All right, guys, we are back from Flesh Eater Court's turn. David, how'd you score? I scored six points, hold one, two more, and I stole an objective from Michael. So that's six points, bringing me up to 16. Scores 11 to 16, and we're getting into Michael's turn. I have two primal dice and two command points, and you have three command points and two primal dice. That is correct, Amundo. For my heroic action, I attempted to get a command point and failed. Okay. Uh, I am doing a heroic action that's out of the book, and it's for my vampire lord. It's called something cool, but essentially it just turns off ward saves. So you can't take wards against his attacks, which is super helpful because I'm going to run mm -hmm. them directly into that big block of knights. For my battle tactic, I'm going to surround and destroy because I've set up for that last turn. So we mm -hmm. have uh, this unit of skellies here, that unit of skeletons over there, and the vampire lord on foot in the back. So first up, we're going to cast Curse of Years because it's going to work eventually. Okay. <laughs> we're going to cast Curse of Years onto that hero from Arcan. Ready? Okay. 14, you can have it. Mortals on sixes. Okay. Okay, two mortals. Okay. Let me see if I shrug them. Uh, nope, so he takes two so far. Mortals on fives. Okay. 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 Let me see if I shrug it. He does, so it stops. Aww. So he'll, <laughs> so he'll take two. <laughs> Let's bring out the jaws. Yes. Great big chompers. 11. 13, 18. Yeah, let's try to unbind that with the Ghoul King. He's plus one because he's on Arcane. So that's a 10, 11, <laughs> 13. So I would have to roll a six. six. Yeah. Oh, I'll adjust. Okay. And his casting with a Mystic Shield. And he paraled. <laughs> Great. He takes three. <laughs> Splendid! He takes them all. Good <laughs> job, Arcan. Oh boy, come on, dude. Good job. He is going to heal that three immediately because he gets to heal himself for three. That's with good his point. Own ability. Thank you, so David. So he'll go back to five. Thank you, David. Yep. All right. Last cast, Curse of Exanionation. Uh huh. Whatever that word says. Uh huh. Here we go. It's 
does not go off. Let's move the jaws. Let's move the jaws. Let's move the jaws. Okay. Eight. eight. Does eight get me anything interesting? No. So let's roll. It's another eight. Good job, jaws. So on a two up, let's do one mortal mood to the uh, to these guys. Ready? Okay. Cool. Take a mortal. I'll take it. You bet your bottom you will. All right, guys, that was my fantastic casting. I finally got my spell out there and it did no damage. Let's charge with the zombie dragon so we feel better about ourselves. But before that, let's move. Yep. All right, everybody, this vampire lord on foot has continued her little journey. She's just going for a little walk. She's kind of threatening this point over here, but David threw, to, threw a redeploy when I fell out of combat with him, so he's threatening her with a blizzard. <laughs> They have their own little story. It's this love-hate story that's going on on the sidelines. It's very yep. interesting. Uh, we brought back some minions from the grave. They're standing on this point, just in case we fail to take it back. We did not move here, because we didn't want to do a redeploy. There's the jaw that did one damage. Excellent, excellent jaw. Arcan flew over here, and he's got a tiny little screen of five dudes standing in front of him. And that is about it. We have a little bit of shoosting to do. Let's look at that. We're at Meow. All right, let's all out attack with the zombie dragon. See how many attacks we get. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fails to hit. Okay. Good command point spent. All right. You ready to charge? I think you only have one charge, so yeah. Let's do it. Hoop. Six, Six is good. Five. I'm going to unleash Hal with my bones. Get out of here. Throwing bones at Throwing you. Throwing bones. All right, Roar. Come at you. No, Roar. Feel free to just... Do whatever you like. Uh, all out defense with my last command point. Excellent choice. They are uh, another plus one to their save because of the defenders of the realm. So they're on a three up before rend. It's great. Super helpful. Um, we should probably all out attack. Because, yeah, we definitely all out attack because I have an unrendable save. Yep. And that's not going to matter with your Lance because you're already hitting on twos because of Doom minions. But it will matter for the Snapping Maw and the Sword-like Talons. Yes, so. it will. So let's go with the Death Lance. Here we go. Three hits. Um, I don't know who wounds on twos. Nope, wounds on threes. Death Lance does nothing. Three attacks with the Snapping Maws. Four attacks, excuse me. Take two, Ren three. I save one, fail one. Okay, it's three damage. I save two of them, so I take a damage. This is going great, everybody. <laughs> Sword-like talons. Take four, minus one. Fail them all. Two damage piece. I'm not allowed to take wards, guys, so we, uh, we backtracked, and he actually did uh, additional three damage. So uh, we'll fight with the horrors next, we'll pile them in. Okay, this is gonna be 26 attacks, and we're looking for fours and then threes. Okay, go ahead and make five three-up saves that are two damage, and then one three-up save that's three damage. All right, so <laughs> failed three of those. Okay, six damage. And then, hoop. Okay. All so right. We'll take six damage. Wards. We'll take five. Okay, decent. Since that was the only activation, he can't use the hunger because he already fought me. This is true. And I lost three Crypt Horrors, mm -hmm. so I don't need to take Battle Shock. Okay. So that's going to round out the turn. This that's it. That's scored up. Let's do it. All right, everybody. That is the end of my turn. We scored five points. We hold one, two. We took this back from David for a bonus point. We completed our battle tactic of surround and destroy. Uh, so pretty good game. I think we're all tied up, correct? We are all tied up. The score is 16 to 16, and we are going into the battle, uh, the roll-off for battle round four. So let's see what happens. Good luck to you, Michael. Good luck to you. That's the double we wanted, boys and girls. Oh, yeah. Michael's got to take it. So we'll be back for battle round four, Soul Blight Grave Lords.
All right, guys, it is here, top of battle round four. Grave Lords are about to get into it. Oh, I should probably do a heroic action, which I didn't think about. Um, let's, let's, yeah, we're gonna do premeditated bloodshed again with the zombie dragon, uh, mm -hmm. so no ward saves against him. And then for my battle tactic this turn, I'm going to uh, heal wounds allocated to my general while using hunger. Yes, boom, boom. Easy peasy, he suffered five wounds, so easy. You're gonna try and get rid of the jaws. Yeah, let's do that with my guy that has an extra cast unbind this turn mm -hmm. with Andorian Focus. I'm on a plus one. It's gone. Done. Curse of Years, David. Cool. 14. I have so many unbinds that I am going to try to unbind it with... Let's try with Usheron first. Uh, 11... Or I'm sorry, 8, 9. It was a 14. It was a 14. So I would need a 6. Nope. Uh, it's going to go on to the, the hero that's in garrison. Okay, the Arch Regent. Mortals and sixes. Oh, that's a good start, boys. That's four mortal wounds. Oh, no. Let me see if I shrug any of them. Okay, pull one of those out of there. Okay. Takes three. Mortals on fives. And there it stops. Okay, and then he'll take three. Three is good. Mystic Shield on himself. Nine. 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 Okay. Uh... Usheron's last one, bind. Five, six, seven. Nope, go ahead. Arcane Bolt. Okay. Nine? Nine. All right, uh, let's do with his other unbind. Okay. Uh, nope, goes off. Curse of extenuation. Okay. Right here, here we, here we go. A mighty 10. Okay, I'm gonna try to unbind it. Nope. Okay. Three up. We'll do a mortal wound. Okay. Who are you going into? Here. The hero? Okay, cool. One. One. Okay, he takes it. It's a great spell. It does one mortal wound. <laughs> Horror frost on yourself? Horror frost on myself, because we are gonna try and charge over there. Oh, oh, oh a 10. That's an 11. Nice. Uh, let's do Ren 2 on her mace. Beautiful. Sounds good. Pretty good magic phase. Not bad. All right. Let's move into movement. Do it. All right, guys. Continuing her personal vendetta against the Gore Warden, the Vampire Lord has marched forward. He threw a redeploy, but he didn't have a whole lot of places to go, so our Death Rattle have moved and advanced upon him. Our purple Death Rattle have just encircled this point. The zombie Dragon, of course, stayed where he was. Uh, this is firmly Feck country over there, so we're out of there. This unit of Death Rattle moved, and Arcan is going to go fight this guy and try and stop David's Grand Strat. Pestilential Breath, Private X. Nice. Hitting on threes. It'll hit. Wound on threes. Take four. That minus one. Oh goodness! I was so shocked that I dropped all my dice. Uh, this is going to be fives. Okay, I take one. And then I can't take warts. Or is it melee weapons? Um, it just says attacks. Okay, so I take three. Arcan the black, charging in with two dice. Seven. He goes in. Charging with Vampire Lord on foot. <laughs> Mighty ten inches. Yes. Charging with the skeletons. A mighty 11 inches. Oh, oh, oh. And not to alarm you, David, but they get plus one attack because- Oh, he's dead. I don't care. He's dead. Looking at some monstrous actions. A roar, if you would, sir. <gasps> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Arcan is gonna smash to rubble. Get smashed. On a one, I'm slain. No, I'm fine. He's gonna hop out. All right, guys, that was big. That denied David his grand strategy, which is good because it's very unlikely that we get our grand strategy. Mm -hmm. So let's activate the Zombo Dragon himself. Michael's looking up some rules here. I'm going to all out defense these Crypt Horrors. So they're on a three up save before Rend. Okay, so they're only plus one to their save because I no longer control this objective. So let's do four attacks with the Death Lance. Uh, we are going to all out attack here because we don't need it anywhere else. Okay. Four attacks with the Death Lance. So these are twos and threes. Here we go. Nice. We're hitting on twos because of the uh, doomed minions. 
So take three at Ren 2. OK, so this is going to be sixes. OK. And no wards. No so that's wards. nine damage. Uh, two damage apiece. Oh. Uh, six damage. Six damage. Four attacks from the snapping maw. Three hits. Two wounds. Uh, these are Ren 3. OK, punch his armor. Uh, three damage piece. OK, so that's six damage. OK, and then one dude left. Can right. the sword-like talons finish him off? Let's see. Eight attacks. Uh, take two. Minus one. Uh, save one, fail one. Dose damage. OK. Cool. We will immediately heal to full strength. OK. Yay, battle tactic complete. Uh, I'll fight with the Gore Warden next. OK, let's go ahead and go into the Vampire Lord. Cool. Uh, I'm going to hold on to my command point. No all out attack here. All out defense. OK. No command points in the ring. Two, four, six. Uh, six attacks, threes and threes. OK, make three, three up saves. Failed. Two, so it's four damage. Mm -hmm. All right, so I take four damage. Okay. You almost got her. Almost. Hit me with your staff, bro. Hits. Fails to wound. Uh, five attacks. One. Minus one. Okay. <laughs> He's good. Before we forget, this is going to happen at the end. Yeah. Let's just uh, let's go ahead and release that arcane bolt. Oh yeah, go ahead. Take three wounds. Okay. He takes them and he's dead. Wait, hold on. How many wounds does he have on him? Three. Three. I think he's six wounded. Seven wounded. Still one. Wound. Oh, one wound left. So close. Lucky boy. <laughs> so close. So vampire lord. Six attacks. Three mm -hmm. threes. Run two. Nice. Drop half. Okay. <laughs> Did a wound. Six. Oh, <laughs> no. He's fine. fine. I was like, fine. I'm going to heal. It's going to be great. All right. I'll go. I'll hit you with my Crypt Horror. Okay. This is the Crypt Horror. Uh-huh. Make a save. Minus one. I failed it. That's two damage. Hey, I saved one. I cut you. Ready? Just enough to be scary. He might be okay, folks. Okay. Take six at minus one. Uh, fives and then sixes. He takes three damage. All and right. it's combat complete. That is. All right, let's go score Michael up. All right, guys, that was my turn. Uh, we got four points, so we hold one, two, and we completed our battle tactic, which was heal, heal wounds on my general with the hunger. Yep. So that's good. Four points. Uh, there wasn't any way for us to hold more that turn, but we did take away David's grand strategy because it seems likely that I'm not going to be able to get mine. So I think we're doing, doing pretty good. We're yep. getting into David's turn. Um, David has two command points. I have one, and we each have a primal dice. Yep. What'd you do for a heroic action? Uh, I have not done a heroic action yet. Let's go ahead and do, let's try to rouse with this gentleman right here. Uh, two dice. Yeah, so he'll just be topped off with noble deed points. Okay, and then I'm just gonna continue the good times and make sure that you can't do wards against the zombie dragon. David did do royal blood and healed a bunch of his stuff all over the table, so that's pretty good. Yep, so we can go ahead and get into casting now. Yes. Uh, first thing I'm going to try to cast is we're going to try to cast a Mystic Shield with my two caster right here. Mm. Uh, that goes off on a nine. Uh, let's stop it with Arcane. Okay, I will take my Arcane, I mean my Mystic Shield. He's going to try to cast a spell to immediately charge 3d6 and then he gets strike first if he goes in. That's a 10. Let's go with Arcane again. Seven, eight, nine. You can have it. Okay. He's going to go into the zombie dragon with a seven. All right, that guy's done casting. Let's go with Usharan. Okay. 
we are going to do deranged transformation. Four is not good enough. Nope. That was a five. I'm going to throw a primal at it. OK, make it a 11. This is plus one to wound, plus two to movement. Correct? Correct. For three units, because I rolled a 10 plus on okay. an 11. Let's try with Arcan. No. Oh, OK. <laughs> Remove the spell. OK, let's go over here and do a Arcane Bolt on attack. OK, let's try to unbind with just the Vampire and Lord who's standing in front of her. Six, Primal Dice. Nine. Yeah, we're just going to do D3 Mortal Wounds of the Vampire Lord for two. We did. In that heroic journey, she died. The heroic journey ends. He already has six Noble Deed points. All of my heroes have six Noble Deed points. Uh, over here, he's going to cast Horfrost on himself on an 11. That's a brave man. Mm -hmm. I don't have any more in mind. Okay, cool. Uh, I, I guess I have one more in mind there, but you can have it. Okay, his, his weapon is Ren 2. Cool. All right, that is the end of my hero phase. Let's go ahead and move. All right, we have completed my movement phase. This guy fell out of combat after he killed the Vampire Lord. He cannot take the objective from these skeletons, and I don't want to kill those skeletons because that's Michael's grand strat. Over here, since my added delusion from... Uh, Usheron is to get an extra plus one to runs. I rolled a six to run and brought the ghouls up. Then I brought my general up, who's right there, standing on the objective. And then I brought back five Crypt Horrors and one Morbeg Knight over here with his six uh, Noble Deed points. Usheron moved his 10 inches and he's standing there just giving out his buffs. And then in the very back over here, we've got some ghouls doing Surround and Destroy. And then way back there, if you look, you can see the abhorrent arch regent who is helping me get surround and destroy. So that's battle tactic complete, and we can go ahead and get into some melee. Monstrous actions, Michael. Roar. Hey, hey. Into we'll the roar crypt horrors? Of course. Okay, sounds good. Uh, I did complete a charge with my spell with the other guy, so he is going to get strike first. So we're going to fight with him and then the horrors into the zombie dragon. Okay. All right, Feeding Frenzy is up, so this is going to be six attacks. Let's go ahead and do an all-out attack with this guy. I don't need command points for anything. Uh, six attacks, twos and threes. That's a good call on that, that all-out attack. Make four saves. Helps you. All right, that'll be four damage. Take three. All right, now we're going to do 31 attacks with the Crypt Horrors. And threes. Okay, five three damage saves and seven two damage saves. Okay, seven. Three ups. Okay, so we take six damage there. Okay. Five. And then we take six damage there. So it's 12 total damage. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we take. He's just fine. Nine damage. Okay, that brings him to 13 suffered. He's a 16 wounded hero. With our Death Lance, we are going to all out attack because we don't need command points. So we're gonna hit on twos, wound on twos. Hit on twos, wound on threes. Excuse me, with the Death Lance. Okay. Take one at Ren two. Uh, go through. It's two damage, no wards. Hey guys. Snapping Maw, three hits. One wound, three and three. Damage. Three damage. Okay. Sword-like claws. Uh, so two. That ran one. Okay, sixes. Okay. Four damage each, or two, two damage each, so four damage total. Okay, so I've suffered nine damage. Okay, cool. And then we'll heal him six health okay. from the hunger. I'll give it to him. So he's suffered seven now. That is the end of my turn. I don't have to take Battle Shock because I'm Bravery 10. Uh, so let's go ahead and go score me up. All right, guys. Fleshy and Course have finished their turn. David, how'd you score? Uh, I scored six. I did Surround and Destroy, and then uh, I completed yeah, I completed my Battle Tactic, hold one, two more, and then I stole this objective for Michael, so that's six points. Nice. So nice. the score is 22 to 20, going into Battle Round 5 like we knew it would. Yep. That two-point swing is going to be a big deal, though. 
Yep, so you let's ready? see what happens. Huh. A six. <laughs> okay, I rolled a one. All right, so Grave Lords will take the turn, and we will snap off, come back for battle round five, so Blight, Grave Lords. All right, guys, it is battle round five. When you're playing two death armies, you know it's going all five battle rounds. We have That's right. like almost full strength armies. We get to play so much Warhammer. Yeah. We're down by two points for the Grave Lords. So we got to make a little bit of a swing right here. So let's see what we can do. I have two battle, two command points and one primal dice. I have two primal dice and I have four command points. Instead of getting an extra cast and bind this turn, I just gave an extra uh, command point to Ushron. I am going to go do finest hour on my general. I think we're going to try the plus one to wound on all of those attacks. Might be able to get enough damage through mm -hmm. to steal that point back. Yep. We're going to do magical mayhem for our battle tactic. And then I have to destroy something with magic. We're going to pick this little guy in the backfield right here. We're going to try and kill him. Okay. Uh, I feel that it's obligatory to try to top him off. So Hold that's on. what I'll do for my heroic. I changed my mind. It's gonna be... He'll, he'll heal. I think I wanna kill that guy with magic. Okay, then I'm gonna heal him. Yes. Okay. Uh, cool. He's at full health. Oh, he's at full health? Yes. Okay. The reason I should kill him with magic is because I need him off the point. I'm still gonna heal the Arch Regent for one, because I, or for two. All right, let's cast. Yes, get Curse into of, it. Curse of Years from Arcane. Seven. Eight, nine. Okay, I'm gonna try to unbind this one with Ushoran. Uh, no, you can have it. You've gotten that spell off every turn. Yeah, but it does so little. All right, guys, we need the dice. There's okay. a mortal wound. I'll see if I shrug it real quick. Nope, he takes it. Mortal on a five. Okay, take a mortal. Okay. Bring out the jaws. Let's leave that at a 12. Let's go. Let's go Usheron again. Oh. 11. I'm done. Aggressively unbound. How about just an arcane bolt? You only have an arcane bolt? Has a 10 strike you, sir. I'll try to do that one with the Ghoul King. You rolled a 10? I rolled a 10, sir. Okay, it'll go off. Okay. He's got an arcane bolt in his pocket arena. Curse of extenuation. Ready? On mm -hmm. him, the little guy. Nine? 12? Respectable 12. All right, I'll try with my uh, Gore Warden. Okay. You get it. Okay. See how many mortals you do? Just keep rolling threes, or do I stop at five? You just keep rolling threes. Yep. One. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he takes it. Yay! <laughs> okay, so I did what? Two to him? He's got two wounds right now. Yep. He's got two wounds right now. So we could. We could still arcane bolt this. There's no, no, go ahead. There's still, you still I, have outs. I, I, <laughs> so let's get into movement and we'll be right back to show you. Attempting to avenge the vampire lord, these death rattles have chased down the gore warden who cowardly threw a two inch reed boy. Two inches. Straight at the general though. All of this stood perfectly still. We have to try and kill everything that we haven't been able to kill all turn. Orcan decided to uh, run over this way to try and get a charge. Maybe do that arcane bolt and save our Battle tactic, um, and those death rattle don't matter, so they're standing right there. He's hanging out over there. That is it. We're gonna shoot a little bit right now. All right, let's go ahead and roll with that pestilential breath into the horrors for three attacks. One hit. No wounds. Good talk. Let's get charging. Charging with Arcan. Seven? I don't know if that's good enough, dude. I have to command point reroll. <laughs> hey, yeah, we're still in the game. You got his eight. Charging the death rattle. A mighty eight. All right, let's roar the horrors. Nope. <laughs> it's never going to happen. All right, stomping the little hero. Yes. <laughs> he takes it. Okay. He's got three wounds left. Oh, my gosh. Everything from the Vampire Lord into the Horrors. Still going to all out attack with our last command point. Vampire Lord, everything into the Horrors. Uh, four attacks with the Deathlands. Twos and twos. Uh, 
OK. Four. I ran two. <laughs> I should have all out defense. I'm sorry. I've, yeah, it's OK. OK, so sixes. OK. Uh, that's eight damage. OK. Snapping Maw. OK, take two. It ran three. Damage? Uh, six damage. You're done. We did it. They're coming right back, but we did it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll fight with my ghoul king. Yeah. He does have a feeding frenzy. I'm going to pile them in. OK. Threes and threes. What is this into? Everything into the zombie dragon. Make two saves. Threes. Save them. He loves it. All right, guys. I'm trying to still regain my battle tactic. So I piled in such a way so that only Ken and Shaw is in range. None of my other attacks are in range because I have to try and kill this guy with that arcane bolt. So we have one attack from Ken and Shaw. I would really like it to hit and wound. That would be very nice. Uh, so let's do this on a four. No. OK. David, this is actually the game. If yeah. we can arcane bolt this guy, we're still in it. Yeah. If it fails, we'll just go to wrap up. <laughs> Sound good? Yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Up. Take three mortals. Six is. I saved one. All right. Okay. That is the game. We can go to wrap up and score it up. Absolutely. We'll be right back. All right, everybody. We are back for the wrap up. Michael dropping that battle tactic on five meant that I could score my battle tactic. I had a couple options in the last turn, and we both failed our grand strategies because I was not going to go touch those skeletons. I was just going to let them stay alive. So yeah, really interesting game. The final score was 23 to 28 Yep. Uh, for Flesh Eater Quartz. And uh, that was about how Death Armies play, man. It was exactly what you think it yeah. would be, five battle rounds the whole way through. Really, really fun game. Big shout out to the Warcoda guys for this awesome battle plan. I really like the extra bonus point of getting for stealing an objective back. Love that. Yeah, Make that was a great way to finish. Yeah. yeah, excellent dynamic play. Um, thank you to the Baron for sponsoring it. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you so, so much. Check out those links in the description box below, guys. It's really important to support those guys. Yes. Let's get into some hot takes right now. But let's start with David. David, how's Usheron and the Morbeg Knights? Uh, Usheron is fun. I, unfortunately, because you can take away my ward save from Usheron, I did not feel comfortable pushing him to the mid board. So I used him as more of a support piece. Being able to pick a delusion is nice. Having that huge umbrella of feeding frenzy of 24 inches yeah, is nice. Uh, I had six noble deed points with every single hero on the board. Yep, all the time. Uh, at the end of the battle. So yes, it's not hard to get them. This list is fine and decent. I've got a couple little tech pieces in there. I've got some fast attack cavalry that can come out of reserve and actually do a fair amount of damage. Almost guaranteed to get their charge. Yep, yep. Uh, being able to move these six after I set them up and then charge on a plus two is really spicy. So I held on to them until the second battle round, went and took care of a major threat in the Necromancer because the Necromancer had Merciless Blizzard. And then I also was able to go and just swarm an objective and hold on to it for a couple turns. So they're fantastic. I love them. I am going to give MVP to those Crypt Horrors, though, because they survived for three battle rounds against the Zombie Dragon. That was very important to keep him locked in one place. Uh, so they're going to get MVP. I'm going to give LVP to the Abhorrent Arch Regent because he failed at securing my grand strategy and he was out of position because of that. Everybody moved away from the Shardnell throne. He could have been bringing back knights. He could have been handing out Horfrost, but instead he was just kind of pinned on his own with Archon. Uh, and then in a close second, even though the Morganbeg Knights did great, they did fail to finish off Archon, and Archon was another piece that you had running around the board and uh, ultimately made me fail my grand strategy. So yeah, really, really fun. I love Usheron. I'm going to love playing him into armies that don't have such high bravery and can't turn off his ward save because he can be a real beat stick. We saw when he went and fought, he had no problem just eviscerating a whole unit of Morgas that were yeah. full health with Easy. a five-up ward. Um, so he was great. The, the army's fantastic, man. Uh, I hope you guys are all just hype for Flesh Eater Courts. I think they're another really high-powered army that we're going to have a lot of fun with going to tournaments, but also playing against just friends. They're just a really, really fun army. So let's talk about Soulblight Gravelords. Typically an army that you don't pilot, no. but you've seen me play it a lot. You've played it a couple times. How did you feel that your list performed, and how was the new Regiment of Renown? 
A um, couple things that I think I would have changed differently is I took a battle grand strat that required all three of my summonable units to die. Yeah. And then I reinforced one. So it, I immediately made my grand strat a little bit harder. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I probably would have changed that. There was no need to have that reinforced unit. Zombie Dragon, everybody knows he's great. He does a ton of damage. Mm -hmm. He consistently hits well. He was the only thing killing things in my army. Yeah. But the thing he was killing just kept coming back. I, I had to kill those Morbegs or those uh, Horrors three times. Yeah, and yeah. I brought back five of them. So that's hard. So you had to kill 14 of them. And then they were going to come back in the fifth turn, five strong, on a board edge and steal another objective. So the Crypt Horrors are amazing. Yeah. yeah. He, he, Arcan's actually MVP. Uh, he was the one like keeping me in the game, trying to get me battle tactics, denying you a grand strat. He's very fast, he's very mobile. Uh, those mean the same thing. Theoretically has a lot of damage output with his spells. Mm -hmm. Just never connected. LVPs were the Mordas. They went down super fast. Yeah. They did uh, very little damage. Even into the ghouls, into the ghouls, they, I think they did four damage. A mighty four damage. They, yeah, they did six and then I warded some or something like that. And then one of them almost died to ghoul attacks. Yeah. Uh, and the, the, when they went in and then they died. And then when I won the double, then the next unit died as well. So it was just, it was just rough. I just could not quite do anything with them. They, they lifted off the board really, really easy. They don't have enough attacks in a single unit to really push mm -hmm. the damage through. Yeah. And I have no way to buff that. And then it's just, I don't know, they're a little wonky and I don't think they really added anything to the list that Grave Lords can't bring themselves. Yeah. Neferata and two units of Direwolves do, would yeah. have been amazing. Yeah. Would have um, complemented your army, accented your army a little bit more, given you a little bit more access to getting your grand strategy. But that's regiments and armies of renown are supposed to be fun. They're not supposed to be extremely competitive. There are a couple outliers like Bothanos yeah. uh, and a couple other things. But, you know, this is probably the fourth best, maybe third best regiment of it's renown good. in the book. It's pretty good. I think I would like it more in Nighthawk, actually. Yes. I think it would have, I think it has play in that hunt. Then the well. halberds could be like negative five red. Right. Yeah, because they good. could debuff things. The halberds are pretty safe behind a bunch of little chain gas. Mm -hmm. chain rasps. So we'll play with, play with it some more, but I'm excited to play Neferata's regiment next, which is what we're going to get into. Yes, and I'm going to play Manfred's regiment. Uh, I'm playing a pretty elite army again. Michael's playing Night Haunt, which is more of a horde style army, so it should be really fun. That is going to kick off a series for... Gray Matter Games, who has some amazing stuff on the way, so please do go check that out when it's published. It's probably going to be a week or two from now. And yeah, man, really, really fun game. I hope that you guys are excited for us to kick off the new Dawnbringers book. We've got all of the Death Armies, so we're going to be covering all of it, and we're going to start pitting them against some other different armies, different sub-factions and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. Guys, thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you next week for another Battle Report. Thank you to all of our members for supporting this channel, especially the Lords and Commanders. If you're interested in extra battle reports and helping to support this channel, hit the link in the description box below. Go check out our channel partners, Baron of Dice and Grey Matter Games. They have some amazing products. There will be promo codes and links in the description box below.